Hey Episcatorians, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be making some crab cakes with a sriracha horseradish sauce. So stick with me and I'll show you how to make it. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to do is make our um, horseradish sriracha sauce. That way we can put it in the refrigerator, let it get cold, and then uh, we'll make the crab cakes. And uh, yeah, so we'll get started. Um, first thing you're going to need is a half cup of mayonnaise. So we're just going to put this, if you got a blender or food processor, that will work great. I'm using, I'm using the uh, magic bullet today. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, get that mayonnaise into the uh, magic bullet cup. And the next thing we're going to put in there is some coarse ground shallot. Uh, this is one kind of small to medium coarse chopped shallot. So we'll put that in there like so. Then we got a tablespoon of prepared horseradish. We'll put that in there. We're going to have one tablespoon of capers. one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar two tablespoons of Dijon mustard and then last but not least got about a tablespoon of the red rooster sriracha sauce Then we're going to go ahead and screw the uh, top on the magic bullet there, or the bottom I should say. And give that a nice mix and mix it up a little more and then our sauce will be done. Just like that, we have our crab cake sauce. All right, now we'll put our crab cake sauce right in this little ramekin. And we'll put it in the refrigerator for later. Uh, super simple, takes less than five minutes to do. And now we'll go make the crab cakes. All right guys, so now it's time to make the crab cakes. First thing we're gonna do crack an egg just like that give it a little bit of a, a beating in the bowl then we're going to add a half teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning we're going to do a half teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce We're going to do a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. We're going to do a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Going to do a teaspoon of honey, or not honey Dijon, but regular Dijon mustard. We're going to go ahead and just stir that up a little bit, get it kind of mixed. Then we're going to add two tablespoons of mayo to that. And then next comes the fun part, the crab. And then we're going to mix the crab up. All right, then we got about two cups of cracked uh, Dungeness crab meat. We're gonna pour that into the bowl.
Then we're just gonna stir this mixture up. I know it doesn't look the most appetizing at this moment, but it will. And we got a uh, tablespoon of fresh um, diced parsley. So we're gonna pour that in as well. Give it a little stir. Next, we're gonna get a cracker crumb binder. All right, now I got a, a whole sleeve of Keebler Toll House um, club crackers and uh, put in the magic bullet beat it up pretty good into a nice kind of fine cracker crumb and we're just gonna start with that if we need to add more I'll make some more but we'll put about three quarters of it in and then we'll go ahead and uh, mix this up Don't want to have a lot of filler. Go ahead and pour the remaining amount in. Let's see a missed piece there. We'll get that out of there. And okay, now we got to just. Uh, it's all mixed up and we're going to go ahead and uh, form those into uh, crab cake patties. So I'm going to pull out a uh, baking sheet, put some parchment paper on it, and we'll form those here in a second. So you just want to grab your mixture and then kind of hand form them into patties of your desired size. They're pretty rich. so. I don't make them too, too big. This last one's going to be a little small. I'm going to baby one to uh, call it a day on, so maybe I'll eat two and a baby tonight. Who knows? But yeah, so anyway, that's the formation of the uh, crab cakes. Now we're going to go ahead and um, put this in the refrigerator for about an hour um, to let it firm up. That way it doesn't quite fall apart on us. And then uh, we'll cook them. Alright guys, so it's been about an hour for the uh, crab cakes to uh, kind of firm up. We're going to add a little bit of olive oil to the pan. Then we're going to do a tablespoon of unsalted butter. Go ahead and let that melt down and then we're going to add our crab cakes. Alright, so that butter's just about melted. I'm going to go kind of a medium high heat. And just drop our crab cakes in there. Give these a few minutes on each side. So I cooked them for about three minutes, just flipped them, and uh, thought I caught that on camera, but I accidentally didn't start it. So anyway, you guys missed the flip, but uh, three minutes, and uh, gonna do another couple minutes on this side, and they'll be ready to plate. Just like that, our crab cakes are done. Take them off the heat. I 
looks pretty good now we'll plate them up be right back in a minute all right guys and just like that you have Dungeness crab cakes with a sriracha horseradish sauce try it out sometime hope you guys like today's video if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button also if you like today's content smash that like button for me and as always guys tight lines <laughs>